Hello everybody and welcome back. Sorry for the delay on this one once again. I was a little um, busy during the time it came out. So sorry for the delay on uh, uploading this. But it is now finally time for Chapter 3 of Dragonflight Legacies. So this is where we're probably... Because we have we had a recap on the book involving the battle with um, Galakrond. We had a recap about Cataclysm. Now is where we're probably going to start moving forward with whatever the main story and plot of Dragonflight is actually going to be. Especially when it involves the Drakthir specifically. So, here we go. Nostromo, wait! You have led me through all these moments in time. Yet now you ask me to guide you? There is a blind spot in my vision. Of a time before Naltharion's corruption. And I believe it centers upon you. I must know why. Seek him out in your memory. It was my honor to command a battalion. We executed Neltharion's will precisely. Our devotion and discipline were unmatched. A Titan artifact? That must be the source of your unity. This was an ancient magic that bound you to his will. Would you not sacrifice yourselves at his whim? We were soldiers. There were many threats to the world. And here was the greatest. The Primalists. That is Razageth, the Storm Eater. One of the leaders of the Primalist Rebellion. They struck without warning, without honor. And I lost many friends this day. We fell back. Regrouped. Then, everything became jumbled, confused. The artifact destroyed, and the order magic which had united the Drakthir was dispelled. How then was Razageth defeated? Imprisoned. Why did we sleep for so long? If he could no longer control the Drakthir, he would have deemed you a risk. No. We laid down our lives for him. He was proud of us. Why would he... Stop this sand! I cannot see! Because you do not want to. Yet you can only become more than you are if you confront your past.
locked us away. Forgot we even existed. It would have been kinder to simply destroy us. I am sorry, my young friend. We had to know the truth. But do not despair. I now believe that Neltharion locked you away because of what you might become. What we might achieve, free of his control. And now, you are free. This world has much to offer, and you will have a part to play in the events to come. You spoke of an ancient enemy's return. It is Razageth and the Primalists. That is why we were awakened. It seems that Neltharion yet had a purpose for you, but he is gone. You must decide which path you will take, which story you will tell. My story will be my own. So yeah, um, as I said, they were clearly uh, deciding, hey, now we're going to kind of uh, move forward and give you guys an idea as to what the the expansion is really going to be dealing with, because it wasn't very clear what we were actually going to be dealing with in this expansion. You know, we found the Dragon Isles. Okay, great. Um, but what is like... Because there's always going to be like a main plot, you know, like in terms of some kind of bad that we have to deal with. And I was curious what they were going to do, where they were going with this. I found it kind of hard to believe that we weren't going to have something to deal with in terms of like a like a like some kind of baddie to confront and face. Because, of course, we got to have dungeons and raid bosses. we got to have enemies to fight. Um, you know, Unless they really were going to be like, yeah, no, we're going to take this expansion off from that and just kind of do stuff, you know, to help, you know, heal Azeroth. Like, remember all that stuff we did in Pandaria, like farming and such, and having our own little place? Yeah, why don't we do more of that? <laughs> I don't think many players would have gone down for that. I know some will. Some would have absolutely gone for that and be like, all right, I get to, like, you know, we get to, like, set up a house or something in Dragonflight. We're still asking for our own, like, houses and such in the game, which is something that they are still reluctant to do, even though it is possible to do it. You can't tell me the tech and the capability of doing it is not there on the table. That's not possible. I fully believe that they're just reluctant to do it because that's just something they either are not interested in, they don't want to do, or they're concerned about the utilization of it and how players are going to handle it or use it. I, I'm sure that those are like the reasons. It's not whether or not they can. It's a matter, matter of whether or not they will, <laughs> in my opinion. But, uh... So... I'm not sure which artifact this is. I mean, you could almost... <laughs> I'd like to jokingly think that maybe that's... Because it's a gauntlet. <laughs> you know, it's on the right hand, though, so it's not Thanos' gauntlet. But it's probably like a, a cheap knockoff, <laughs> since it gets easily destroyed here. But then again, I guess they're also trying to tease that Razageth is supposed to be very powerful. But yeah, just look at that thing. <laughs> it's like a golden gauntlet. You can't tell me that's not some kind of... We're not going to have jokes about that being like, you know, Thanos' gauntlet. So this is the apparent big bad of this expansion. Um, I think I've already heard some people uh, uh, posting and teasing cutscenes about this character uh, on YouTube. Those who like to go into the beta and post videos about cutscenes that are basically spoilers. Um... But apparently this character, Razageth, is going to make a return along with these Primalists. And they are going to be, like, supposedly the main an uh, antagonist faction in this expansion. How true that's actually going to end up being, we'll have to wait and see. We've obviously had these things where it's like, oh yeah, it's going to be this. And then by the end of the expansion, that actually wasn't the case. You know, like, from the get- like, remember BFA, how they were like, oh, it's gonna be about Horde versus Alliance, and by the end it was like, no, it's actually about us stopping Nazoth. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we'll see. 
if they, you know, I'm not sure what to make about this uh, character, Razageth. Obviously, I we know very little. The Storm Eater somewhere, ra- Rocket Raccoon is saying, eh, it's a bit much. But, uh, I mean, it's possible that Razageth could be extremely powerful. That That's why he gave them such a hard time. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I'm not asking them to step up the power level because we just came off of the Shadowlands where we faced off against, you know, people like Sire Denathrius and, uh, you know, obviously the Jailer. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the some people are probably going to see this and be like, yeah, this seems like a step down. Yeah, that's probably going to end up being the case sometimes. Not We don't always have to have a step up in terms of a main villain. Like, we went from, like... And this is not the first time that's happened. We went from having, in Cataclysm, for example, we had Deathwing. And then in Pandaria, we had Garrosh. Which, you know, is probably a better character, but a step down in terms of threat and power, right? Like, we're not going to all of a sudden say that Garrosh was a greater threat and villain than... um, Deathwing was, right? <laughs> I mean, Deathwing was going to literally crack and dis- open and destroy the world, whereas Garrosh was just trying to make the world his own. But anyways. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious to know more about Razageth as a character. Not necessarily how strong they are or how dangerous of a threat they are as a villain. Obviously, that does play a factor. But just in terms of what they're actually like as a character... I am curious about some of these other ones here because you'll see that's clearly Razageth with the breathing lightning, hence Storm Eater. But I'm looking at these other ones here. Like this one looks like it's breathing fire. This one looks like it's breathing ice. So I'm guessing the Primalists are going to be like these kind of like proto-drakes or different versions of dragons that uh, utilize the power of the elements, I guess, in their power. That's why they're called Primalists, like primal elements, I'm guessing. So that's just kind of my assumption in terms of what's going to be happening here. Now, this was an interesting moment here. Because we were like, oh, how did they stop Razageth? Why haven't we heard from Razageth? Because apparently this is the moment that uh, Deathwing was like, well, I can't hold back now. i got to call upon the power of Nazoth and the old gods to basically aid me in stopping him. Because you'll even see, I like this background image here, showing all the tentacles behind him. Showing him truly like calling forth and channeling the power of Nazoth and the old gods to aid him against Razageth. Who was like, oh no, oh no, ah! And sucked into that, you know, <laughs> the black hole behind him. I'm assuming, or her, it could be her, I'm not sure. But, um, I guess I'm, the other the question then becomes, where has Raz- Razageth been this whole time? Now, this, uh, you know, I guess explains why we haven't heard about the Drakthir or heard from them in so long. It's because apparently they were turned to stone by Neltharion. I guess he he, he went uh, all uh, white witch from uh, Narnia on them, toting them all to stone until now. So, and of course the whole you know now you are free and now you'll be able to make something. Oh, you could be something greater, and this is stuff we've heard before. I'm not sure if it qualifies as a cliche or not, but uh, or trope. I, I'm not really you know one who's big on the usage of those words. A lot of people throw those terms around all the time. I don't really know what really qualifies or defines those, but I mean, I'm sure some people are going to... It's like, oh, I've heard this before. To me, that's kind of how I think of it. Not necessarily in terms of either cliche or trope, but just, oh, this sounds familiar. Like, I've heard this before. So if that's what qualifies, whatever. But yeah. So I don't know how many of these are are actually going to be. It was kind of obvious with Shadowlands because there was one for each zone and there were four zones. So it kind of made sense that we were just going to have each of those on each zone to kind of give us an idea of what we're going to be dealing with. Um, This could be the last one. I don't know. Maybe there were only three. But considering that it is, uh, we are, what, a few weeks away from Dragonflight going live... I would expect we're going to have at least one more. And then maybe the story will continue in the pre-patch. Maybe they're releasing these while people get uh, kind of situated in terms of the changes in the pre-patch. And then we're going to actually have some story implemented in the game itself to continue what we have been seeing in the chapters. That's just kind of my guess and assumption. Whether or not that's actually true or not, we'll have to wait and see. Until then, I will see you guys next time.